Shalom family. Wake up Hebrews coming to you with a short video in transit. I was just uh, thinking after I got up this morning and went down in prayer. I was thinking about um, a lot of the things that's happening so quickly. A lot of things happening real quick now. It's, uh, it's not really taking a long time for these things to play out. And uh, scripture came into my mind um, speaking about, come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. We're living in a society where people are unrest. There's a lot of unrest going on in the world. And I believe that this unrest is due to the unwillingness to surrender. People are not willing to surrender to the perfect will of the Most High. They're just content in being in labor constantly, doing things that don't uh, produce any fruit, doing things that uh, leave you empty. Uh, I was looking at um, the internet and I was uh, noticing how a lot of these homeless encampments are just expanding across the nation. I mean, they are becoming plentiful. You just see them everywhere, just homeless encampments. And then not only that, you see people that, you know, put the videos out that's talking about the van life. And then sometimes they try to paint a, a rosy picture, a beautiful picture of how great it is to not have um, bills, to, to just be in a van, living in a van. But there's another side to that, you know, um, who wants to raise their family in a, in a van? You know, if you, if you can't really raise a family properly living out of a van, but uh, society has made that uh, seem popular. It's not popular, but they made it seem popular and a lot of people are food into it and go into it. And then all of a sudden you may see somebody that put a, a reality video that shows that hey it's, it's not not that great sometimes you know you can't find anywhere to sleep um they they run you off of, of certain lots and then some places are unsafe so so uh getting back to my point we're living in a time when it's uh, much unrest a lot of people are, are in a situation where they don't have any peace they don't have any rest constantly laboring, constantly doing things to try to survive, and um, and it's getting worse. Now we have, you know, all of the prices are rising, all the groceries are rising, and it's really become very, very unpopular for people to be on drugs. It doesn't make any sense for you to be chasing after drugs and food as high as it is. You need to be spending that uh, income on trying to uh, sustain your life instead of deter tearing it down, deteriorating yourself with drugs. You know, uh, this is a, a serious time that we're living in today. Uh, and uh, it's getting worse by the day. You, you see more and more videos where people are, you know, talking about things that some of us been talking about for the past four or five years. But it's here now. It's up on us. It has uh, reared its head. Now things are really toppling over. And um, I was looking on the internet and I was noticing that a lot of videos that I used to be able to go to and get that was very educational, that showed a lot of, uh, you know, history, truth about history. And then a lot of uh, people that, uh, made these videos, you know, that, that uploaded them, they're gone. You can't find them. Even some of the videos that I made that gave a lot of information that was usable for the time to help you and understand the time that we're living in were extracted even before they started penalizing everybody and giving you strikes. Some of my videos were pulled down. Um, I would go back and look for them and, and they were gone. You know, so so um, YouTube 
It's being expunged from a lot of information that can help you to understand what is going on in the world and how it's going on and who is behind a lot of these things. Now we see our government, we see President Biden, we see all of our uh, politicians, the Senate and the Congress and all these people. Um, many of us know that those people are really puppeteers. They're, 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 they're puppets rather. These people are, are just put in place uh, and they're put in place by uh, entitlements. People that have big business have uh, put them in place. We live in a fascist type government that's run by business. Uh, if you make a deal, you give so many millions of dollars and, and uh, you talk to the politicians and you make them promises, then you are uh, uh, on the string of these people. And they pull the strings and you have to do what they tell you to do, say what they tell you to say. So we see that the money is really, really what's ruling uh, the country and the world. It's so heavy out here uh, right now uh, that, that people really, really will be baffled at what's going to happen. Now, there, there was a video that I would resort to time and time again, and I still do. Uh, I was looking for it. I can't find it uh, on the YouTube. But, you know, I think I got it stored in, in on my drive or whatever. I would go back and I would listen to that video because it, it has a lot of information on there and it explains a lot of things that are happening right now. You know, uh, you got uh, the uh, foreigners that are coming into the countries, illegal aliens coming into the country, and uh, they're being uh, snuck in by the government. Uh, they're being flown in, they're being bussed to different places, and they don't want coverage of the news. Who's funding that? It's taxpayers' money. We're funding the people that are coming to this country. It's being funded by the government, which is our tax money, and they don't want you to know about it. So uh, what's that all about? Then, not only that, I know you all heard it, uh, this government sent, it's going to uh, send 40 billion with a B, 40 billion dollars to the Ukraine to support in the war and all this stuff. Now, they had a, you know, itemization of showing supposedly where the money was going to be going, but we know a whole bunch of those billions are going into some pockets of the people that are involved in the entitlements and the people that are in charge of the money. So, so the country is being robbed at the, at the time of war. The prices are being gouged, you know, uh, uh, gas, you know, I've I seen where uh, it may be going, diesel may be going up to $10 a gallon. And somebody may not think that, hey, that doesn't bother me. I don't use diesel in my automobile. But what you have to understand, everything is run by diesel everything uh, industrial uh the, the the gas that you get was brought to the gas station by a vehicle that used diesel uh farm equipment is ran by diesel the the, the equipment that get the crops uh that, that you know the big combines and the big equipment that they use on the farm uh generators when the power goes out the main generators are run by diesel uh, so you may think that, um, okay, they can, when they go up on the price of diesel, it doesn't affect me, but it does affect you. It affects everybody. So um, if diesel goes up to $10, that means that uh, everybody is going to suffer even the more. Now, we're at, only at the beginning. This is only uh, the beginning of these things that are happening in 22. Uh, I, I, I hate to see what's going to happen uh, toward the holiday season. You know, I, I, I put a video out and I, I was telling my listeners that, you know, people love these holidays, love celebrating Christmas and all these Thanksgiving and all these different holidays. And, you know, um, and I used to love them too back before I was awakened.
But I said in that video that it's going to come a time where the holidays are not going to be able to be enjoyed, not going to be able to be celebrated because things are going to be so bad until you're not going to even be concerned about a holiday. You're going to be concerned about how you're going to sustain yourself. So that goes to show you that those holidays were really not uh, a true God-given holiday, the pagan holidays. The Most High didn't give us those days. They were implemented and made for uh, commercialism. So we, we see so many things are coming down, being brought down in this time that we're living in. It's, uh, you know, unprecedented. Now, uh, people are in unrest right now. I go back to the scripture that I, I, I quoted, paraphrased for you when I first started on this video. That would come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your soul. What is going on uh, here in the world, people are unwilling to, to surrender. This stubbornness is causing much pain. A lot of the suicides that are going on is uh, the people being incapable of surrendering to the Most High. And they succumb to the enemy and succumb to the, the whims of the flesh and the desires of the flesh and uh, the pride of flesh that, you know, they, they are so overwhelmed with what they can't have in the flesh and what they can't accomplish in the flesh that they want to take their own life. That's a trick of the enemy. Rather than them uh, surrendering to the most high, they tap out to Satan. You know, uh, I watch some of the uh, UFC fighting sometimes, you know, uh, and uh, they have what they call tap out. And uh, what people do when they are in a hold, a, a submissive hold, they're brought under submission and they tap out. Uh, that, that's a form of surrender. People are tapping out to Satan. They're not tapping out to the Most High. They're tapping out to Satan. They're just surrendering to him, which means death. Uh, it's a type and figure of, well, let me put it this way. If you tap out, you'll be spared and they'll let you go. They'll, they'll, they'll cease to give that hold on you, you know. So if you tap out to the most high, then you'll be spared. But not tapping out to the most high means that you remain stubborn and in that hope of Satan. And you're under his clenches and his clutches and he take you out. And a lot of people are being taken out uh, today. So much is going on, it's just, you know, amazing how quickly all of this stuff, stuff is happening. And you know people are, are stocking up, you know, trying to buy food, different things, but if this thing goes on for a long, long time, that food you got gonna eventually run out. I believe we're gonna have to depend totally before this thing is over. We're gonna have to depend totally on the most high. We're gonna have to. Uh, uh, we should be doing it right now, but uh, I believe this is a way that he's gonna wake up a lot of people. Hard times will wake you up. You know, it will wake you up. I, I see more and more people on the corner soliciting donations, begging, you know, with the signs, we'll work for food, and different things like that. It, it's, it's multiplying, it's growing exponentially. Uh, these people out there, some of them may have started out, you know, with a little scheme that they want to get out there and make some extra money. But before it's over, they end up homeless for real. They end up begging for real. They end up uh, uh, losing their homes and different things. So you can't even play with that spirit. I wouldn't uh, encourage anyone to play play around with that. You know, don't even don't even indulge in that. Uh, do what is right. Uh, so you know we we we're, we're in a time of unrest. People don't have any rest. Can you imagine? You know um, those of us that have homes, got nice, comfortable beds to sleep in. 
Uh, you can go to bed, you can get your rest, uh, wake up in the morning, you can go in the, in the bathroom and, and, and take care of your hygiene or whatever you gotta do. If you gotta use the, the, the toilet, take care of your biological needs, you can do that. But just think if a person is, is out there roughing it in the streets, homeless, they don't have those uh, f uh, facilities to be able to take care of themselves like that. You know, uh, sometimes they toss and turn all night. Uh, you know, uh, when it pour, pour rain down, uh, rain is pouring down in the tents, people living in tents, sometimes if you're in a low area, the water is gonna just wash that tent away. I was driving and, it, and we had flash floods one day and uh, I went through puddles of water that were, I know they had to be an inch, I mean a foot and a half, two foot high. And I had to gradually pull through it. You know, uh, these cars they make now, the more modern cars don't, uh, you know, flood out as easy as, as the older cars. So I was able to pull through it. But just think if you was in a homeless encampment and, and you had a flood and that, the flash flood came and, and you're in a low area, your whole tent is gonna be flooded out. And if you got any belongings in there, it's hard to get up and get that stuff out the way and move all at once. So I, I'm just, you know, brainstorming on, on these things that, that's going on. And it's really baffling uh, how things are changing in this world. And um, the vid one of the videos that I listened to, that I resort to, that I spoke about a little earlier, is that um, interview of Rabbi A.B. Finkelstein. I go back and listen to that video from time to time. And uh, now it's taken off, you can't find it. Uh, you, you, you can't find it on YouTube. You only find small segments of it that people sometimes joke about and say, oh, that ain't true. But this individual gives so much information on that video that's amazing. And uh, it's educational to me. And I go back and listen to it every now and then because it, it, it is what's happening. I believe it's what's happening. Um, you know, so he talked about bringing in all of the um, people from Mexico and he talked about um, inbreeding the uh, white uh, race with all different nationalities so it soon, soon won't be a white race. You, you know, this guy talked about all of those things and, and we see that happening. As a matter of fact, we see that uh, the, the incident that happened up there in Buffalo, New York, where the guy went in and killed t 10 black people, uh, he felt that his race was being threatened and that, you know, they were being bred out or whatever, or replaced. Uh, so he took it upon himself to go out and kill a bunch of people. If you're killing the wrong people, you know, you're killing the most highest people and uh, that's gonna bring uh, terrible, consequences on you and your offspring when you mess with the true people of the Most High. And I believe that Satan has allowed uh, the people and the powers that be to persist and to continue to uh, cause and reap havoc in the earth. If you notice, a lot of things that are happening right now could be prevented. These gas prices, like that $40 billion has been sent over to the Ukraine, that could be release funds for people here, right here in the States. What have we got to do with Ukraine? That's money, bribe money, uh, 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 what portion of that money will get to, you, to Ukraine is to probably entice them to become a part of the NATO, uh, you know, so that they can get the uh, worldwide agenda going. This, this world is really, uh, topsy turvy. It's upside down. It, it's 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 crazy what's going on now. And for you to really make sense of things, you need to be in tune with the word. You need to know what the word is saying. 
You need to study the word. You, you need to put yourself in a position where you have spiritual insight and where you have discernment so you can see what's happening. So you won't be so easily fooled into all of these antics of Satan. My friend and listeners, let me tell you something. It's, it's heartbreaking. When you look and see what's going on in this world, you know, I, like right now, it's a terrible looking day, rainy and, uh, you know, different things. And there's a lot of people out there homeless right now in this type of weather. You know, I, tu I turned my air conditioner off, you know, cause it's kind of a little cool. I turned it off. And uh, I, I was thinking, well, you, you got the luxury of being able to turn it off. Some people don't have no air. Just if you out there roughing it in the streets, trying to sleep on a park bench, it's pouring down rain or whatever, you know. And the reason I keep on going back to that because you starting to see more and more people that are homeless that can't handle uh, uh, the bills and and the the cost of living. A lot of people going to be grown folk going to be going back home to the parents because most of the secure part of the population is the seniors. The seniors are the, the ones that are more secure and more settled because they have, you know, taken some precautionary measures. Those of, those of us that have, you know, did the right thing, made some right, right kind of moves. But the, even still with that, there's no guarantee that it's gonna stay like that. My biggest fear is that uh, if they mess with uh, all of the retired people's pensions and different things, if they mess with that, you talking about total chaos uh, because that's the only thing that's sustaining a lot of the uh, seniors and the baby boomers now retiring at the rate of 10, 10,000 a, a week, you know, uh, they, they're retiring like rain falling, you know, so so now more money is being needed and you don't have enough people working to uh, take care of those people and they're printing money, printing money, printing money, so much money and that's why money is losing its value because they printed too much of it and now that money that's all over the world it's starting to come back to the U.S. And you're going to notice yourself, you're going to start having more paper money around, more paper money. If you, if you save and try to save, save some money, you're going to start seeing, man, I got a lot of money, but it ain't worth that much because all this money is coming home. You got people that are over the world that are trying to find alternative ways to pay for uh, uh, their goods. They're looking for different kind of currency, trying to get away from the U.S. dollar. Now, Putin, he even came up with the situation where um, he, he's selling his gas. You got to purchase rubles. You got to buy his gas with rubles if you want Putin's gas. And you know and what the what the U.S. is doing is really ridiculous. Why would you pose sanctions on somebody that's supplying you with your country's life's blood? Why would you pose sanctions on somebody like that? They're, they're supplying you with your country's life's blood, your, the, what's causing your country to run, what's, what's causing your economy to flow. You're gonna pose sanctions on those people and, and now you causing everybody to suffer. That's, that's kind of, what kind of leadership is that? Who called that shot? Uh, you know, it, it, it's really coming out that these people are doing some things that is really causing the population to really become frantic and don't believe in the government. That you know, they they are protesting and and getting out and, and complaining about the government because of the choices that they're making don't make any sense. They don't make any sense at all. Uh, so th these people opposing sanctions that really, uh, it's almost like 
you stabbing a bunch of uh, butcher knives. You trying to punch a bunch of butcher knives with your bare hands. That's what kind of sanction, that's what the sanctions are doing. You jumping on a bunch of nails and tacks like you trying to stomp somebody, but you stomping a bunch of nails and tacks. That's what the sanctions are doing. The sanctions are hurting us. They're not helping us. They're hurting the people and costing us all this money and giving all the money away, flying all these people in from other countries, busting them all through the country, sending billions of dollars to places that are, are riddled with war. What, what are they doing? They're causing more unrest. So, you know, I just wanna just, just paint a little picture of what a reality. See, I, I believe in the reality of things. Sometimes we get into the scripture we go and pull all the beautiful scriptures and, you know, I am the righteousness of God and, you know, uh, the, the blessings of the Lord make it rich. Had it no so We go get those scriptures. But the Bible tells you that it's a time for everything. And right now is the time to really face up to what's happening and stop living in a fantasy land. I mean, you, you, may, you may be doing all right. You may have money and different things right now. But that doesn't mean that the tough times are not going to reach you. That doesn't mean that, you know, uh, you're not going to feel the pain. And we're not focusing on the pain, but we're trying to let the people know and let the population know what is going on so they won't uh, give in to the devil. Tap out or be totally in despair and let you know that it's a private agenda, satanic agenda going on. That's what we want you to know. You know, so this this is a uh, the Shabbat, and then I just thought I'd give a video. I've been kind of a little busy, but I thank the Most High that you know He's keeping me with health and strength and in my right mind. So I, I'm praying for, for everyone that's listening to this channel, that the Most High will bless you and your family. Praying that you don't get caught up, uh, you know, but you gotta pay attention. You gotta be uh, aware of your surroundings because uh, crime is, is rising. A lot of things happening right now. These, these are terrible times. I believe we're in the beginning of tribulation. I often say that. The beginning of tribulation so uh, you know if things are bad already at the beginning of tribulation my goodness what in the world is it going to end up being like the bible says that you know it's going to come a time that's going to be worse than any time before so uh, my friend we just want to just stop by and give you this short video and give you some information on what is going on, how things are, are happening and what is really transpiring in this world. And we want you to be encouraged. We don't want you to despair. This video is not for you to despair. It's for you to take notice of what's going on. Be aware of what's going on. These are a different time. We, we're being ushered in a different day. And a lot of the um, People in power, the powers that be, are the ones that are causing a lot of things. Now, the Most High, he haven't stepped in and started pouring out those bowls yet. And when he start pouring those bowls of wrath out, that's going to be for the people that's causing all the trouble right now. You know, a lot of these uh, problems that the world is suffering are a man-imposed problems. They're creating these problems. Uh, that we're dealing with, that we're going through. And it's intentional. And, and it's supposed to be to implement and bring in what they call the, the New World Order or the Great Reset. You know, when something needs to be reset, that means that something is wrong. If your computer, you know, is all in discombobulated, you want to reset it so when it come back up, the problem will be gone. Well, I believe we are considered as a problem. Uh, the the people at the bottom are considered as a problem, so they want to punch the reset button, and when it, the system come back up, a lot of the problem people are supposed to be gone. 
but you may be pushing a button that that is going to annihilate yourself. It may be a suicide button. So uh, for the people that's in power, it may be the end of your rule. You push that button and your rulership will be over. So um, we just we just know that uh, these times that we're living in are escalating and we're living in a time of unrest. That's why the scripture says, come unto me, all you that labor and the heavenly laden, and I will give you rest. Take up my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. You will find rest for your soul. It's nothing like rest. Your body needs rest. Your soul needs rest. Your family needs rest. We need, uh, they say, eight hours of sleep every day. You know, as you get older, you, you think you don't need it. But if you ever take a time and just say, I'm not going to do anything, I'm just going to rest, you might find yourself sleeping 10, 12 hours because you've been deprived of rest. So my friend, uh, that brings to a close. I'm getting ready to shut it down. So you all be encouraged and stay in the will of the Most High. And don't worry and don't fret. Peace.